When the University of Georgia was established in 1785, the sound of electronic wheelchairs was not yet permeating the air on campus. In 2018, however, times have changed. With a small percentage of students in wheelchairs, how does the university do with accommodations inside the classroom? The Disability Resource Center here is pretty good. The voice you just heard belongs to Tyler Head, a 22-year-old journalism student who uses a wheelchair to get around campus. I mean, they mainly focus on like accommodations like within the classroom, extra test time, making sure you have the right desk, and you know, anything you need in the classroom. Um, and they help kind of to a degree outside the classroom too. Um, so everything with them is great. It seems that the Disability Resource Center is a big help. Tyler also mentioned that the DRC does a good job moving classes if the original building has no elevator, which is the case in some North Campus structures. Any issues Tyler faces are usually found outside of the classroom. There are definitely things around campus that I would change mm -hmm. if I had the opportunity to. There are definitely some uneven sidewalks throughout campus, um, several of them on the uh, north part of campus, up around the arch and everything, and you know, curb cuts in areas that are maybe not quite as convenient. Actually, to be specific, the um, light uh, at Sanford, not in front of Grady, but at the like the other end, um, I believe that's where Jackson and um, what's that? Is this Baldwin before you go down the ridge? Mm -hmm. um, the crosswalk right there has so many holes and cracks in it. I've almost fallen out of my chair because of it because like I'm looking down trying to avoid one crack and I end up in another and that just you know throws me around um, so if there was anything that I would recommend them getting to it would be like repaving that because that is a problem 